Hosanna to the name of the Most High God. The Lord bless you. The face of the Lord shine upon you. I welcome you once again to another edition of our devotion. My name is Bernard and I want us to see the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 13. Exodus 20 verse 13 says, Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. And from the caption you have seen, do not commit suicide. Yes, this is the word that the Lord has been putting in my spirit. A burden that the Holy Ghost has put in my spirit and I couldn't hold it. I know this is not for everyone, but there is someone out there that the Lord has ordained this word for. That do not commit suicide no matter the situation no matter the condition oh brother you don't know what i'm going through i'm going through a lot there's a lot on my shoulders that i'm carrying that only god knows yes i can understand even though i cannot feel your pain at the same time but I know there are times in life where everything suggests just giving up, you giving up. But the Lord sent me to tell you, do not commit suicide. Suicide is a thought from the devil. Suicide is a devil's tool in this end time. Unfortunately, many are falling for this trick. When you kill or you take your own life, hell straight and this is not what we want i'm saying of god to encourage you that do not commit suicide first peter 5 7 cast thy burden upon the lord for he cares bring it unto the lord i know it is heavy i know you cannot bear it offload it and put it upon the shoulders of the most high god put it upon the holy spirit as our helper let him help and carry that burden you cannot carry it alone sister you cannot carry it alone my brother offload it and put on the shoulders of the holy spirit now when the lord was speaking to me he opened my eyes this is why you must not commit suicide because when the devil is speaking to you to commit suicide it's not only about you. He can sense the genealogy you carry. He can sense the offsprings that you carry. When the devil is looking at you, he's looking at a generation. If he's destroying you, he's looking at a generation being destroyed. So when he looks at you and he's telling you to commit suicide, he is afraid. Of a Moses that will emerge from your loins he is afraid of an Elijah that will emerge from your loins he is afraid of an Esther that will emerge from your loins he is afraid of a Joshua that will emerge from your loins your genealogy is the reason the enemy is so much afraid that he can be giving such thoughts that you should take your life so he can close that genealogy unfortunately some of us are too overwhelmed with what we go through we are too overwhelmed with the challenges of life that we have belittled ourselves that we are nobody we can't we, are, we, we don't amount to anything that is not it the bible says in psalms 82 verse 5 and 6 they know not neither do they understand they walk in darkness but I have said, ye are gods, and you are the children of the Most High God. I have said, ye are gods. Awake, beloved. Awake from that slumber. And take your original place. Awake and know that God still has a project in his hand concerning you. He is not a God of abandoned project. You were created for a purpose. You were created for to fulfill destiny. Do not give up. Awake and take your rightful place as a believer. 
in the book of second corinthians chapter 10 and verse 5 the bible says casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of god and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of christ every thought that exalted itself above the knowledge of God. Cast it down. Arise. Wake up from that slumber. Throw away the garment of depression and anxiety. Throw away the garment of discouragement. Stand up. Cast out that evil imagination, that satanic thought. Declare with your mouth, Satan, I charge you out of my destiny. I charge you out of my family. You spirit of suicide, leave my body now in the name of Jesus Christ. You spirit of suicide, I break your power right now. I take total control of my mind. I take total control of my thought pattern. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, lose your grip over my life. Lose your grip over my children. Lose your grip over my household. Break the power of suicide in that house. Break the power of suicide in your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the blood of Jesus Christ, let the power of suicide be broken. Let the voice of suicide be silenced by the blood of Jesus. The blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. Let the blood speak right now and let every imagination of suicide be silenced now in the name of Jesus. Be arrested now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I stand in agreement with you, brother. I stand in agreement with you, sister. I decree and I declare, you will not die to declare the goodness of God in the land of the living. Declare it, my sister. Declare it with your mouth. The Bible says, calling those things that be not as though they were. It doesn't matter how long you've been in that depression. Right now, Take a giant step, begin to declare. Begin to declare right now. Declare your freedom. Declare your freedom from that suicide thought. Declare your freedom in the name of Jesus. I declare freedom now in the name of Jesus. Freedom, let the angels of the Lord free your mind now. Free your mindset now in the name of Jesus. And I declare, you will not die. You will live to declare the goodness of God in the land of the living. Your generation is preserved. Your children are preserved in the name of Jesus. Your future is preserved in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we pray even generations to come they will not suffer in the hands of these voices that say take your life take your life just take your life take your life we close that door in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we close those doors in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i declare your family preserved you are preserved in the name of jesus christ of nazareth god is in control brother god is in control sister Put yourself together. God is in control. Do not bow your knees to the wish of the enemy to take your own life. No, say no to that. You are too precious to do that. God created you for a purpose and for a reason. You must fulfill that assignment that you were sent here on earth to fulfill. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, this is the word of the Lord for today. As the Lord live it. It's me, your brother, Bernard. I see you soon as the Lord liveth. Stay under the canopy of God's grace and his mercy. Shalom.